We haven't talked about Pat Robertson for a while on the 700 clubs uh, to Christian televangelist. Pat Robertson fielded a supposed question from a teenage viewer who wanted to know if it's bad to listen to rock music. I say supposed because it's really hard to believe these are serious questions because they're so stupid. But let's imagine for a second that these are serious questions. Let's go to Pat Robertson addressing the paramount issue. Is it bad to listen to rock music? You might not be surprised if you know about Pat Robertson to learn that along with Harry Potter, yoga, sweaters from Goodwill shops and so many other things, rock music can summon demons. Take a listen. This is Shannon who says, hi, I'm 14 and <laughs> I grew up listening to rock music. Recently, I've been obsessed with the rock band. Some of their songs have some strange lyrics. <laughs> now my dad is telling me that I should second guess listening to their music. Yeah. I love Christian music too, but I find myself not letting go of my rock music because that's what I was born listening to. Hmm. So can I listen to both rock and Christian music? Please help. Um. It depends on what rock you're listening to. I mean, some <laughs> yeah. of the stuff is just evil. It, they used to talk about kill your parents, and uh, they were just some evil things, and they were uh, odes to Satan. And so yeah. you don't want that stuff coming into your mind. Uh, there's some beat that's out there that, you know, probably isn't all that bad. Although, uh, in one Indian context, they were playing rock music, and, and the person said, Why are you calling on the demons? Because that was the kind of music they used to, to you know, summon demons. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, yeah. Again, the evil in the world is so pervasive mm. that we just need to stay in prayer. We need to stay in the Word of God, and we need to have fellowship with one another. But the truth is, was there a sliver of tolerance in there somewhere saying there's some rock music that's not bad and is OK? I guess it, it depends on the type of rock. Red Hot Chili Peppers, evil, demonic. Bon Jovi, eh, maybe not so much, according to old good old Pat. Yeah. Or uh, what about Marduk, who is pictured behind you, us here? Um, if if this type of music summons demons, Dave. <laughs> I would have like an entourage of like a million demons at this point. Well, they're invisible, Lewis. But right, imagine if uh, it's Norwegian black metal. Would would you consider that to be some of the most brutal music, Lewis, uh, uh, on this planet? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, if anything is going to summon demons, that's the <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and so, um, this is just crazy. <laughs> uh, this sounds like it, it sounds like someone who is uh, living two hundred years ago. Or, yeah, I suppose there was not this music 200 years ago, but 200 years ago, had they heard something like that, they would have thought it was literally the work of the devil. How is anyone still beating this dead horse in 2016? Right. I thought we got past the demonic music stuff a while ago. Democrats, Obama, Xbox. Fine. That stuff is demonic. But rock music, it feels so passe. It does. Um, but according to Pat Robertson, sweaters can be possessed by <laughs> demons. Uh, so that sweater, that cable knit sweater that your grandmother knit you, if it went to a Goodwill store and someone else got it, that thing could have demons latched onto it. And then you never know what would happen. I'm on Twitter at D Pacman. Lewis is on Twitter at Lewis Motomedy. What a program we have for you today.